Hi there, Wycliffe Barrett, x Dedicated. Today we're going to have a look at the Tolis A340. It's been updated for x 12. It's new, now the 1.1 version. It's got an absolute ton of updates. It's also been updated for XP11, but of course in XP11 you won't see the rain effects or the weather effects or a number of other effects. This aircraft is so complex, there's so much going on in it, it's just unbelievable. As you can see here with the cockpit, the cockpit has been drawn absolutely beautifully. The lighting within the cockpit is superb and outside, of course it was a rainy day here at Cardiff and you can see the water, you can see the rain actually dripping into, into, into the ground. The complexity of this aircraft, the modelling on it is absolutely fantastic. I thought I might go through some of the details of this. So it's got a very detailed FMGS with three independent MCDUs providing real life FMGS programming capability. SID stars as always, it's, uh, it's got a, a it's got support for A424 leg types, arc, course or heading to intercept, radius to fix holdings etc. It's got support for all approach types in, including uh, GLS, ILS, localizer back course etc. Uh, support for go arounds and diversions, there's NAVAID auto tuning, uh, pilot item database, database such as pilot fixes, pilot NAVAIDs etc. On top of all of that they've got this unique feature now which enables you to install uh, almost all of the um, flight plan from using the ACAS function. Now the ACAS function within uh, the A340 is so powerful, it's unbelievable. I used this the other day uh, and quite simply you, you, as long as you've registered your SIMBRIEF ID within the ISCS uh, panel you can then download your flight plans direct into the aircraft uh, by using the ACAS function. Now, not only can you download your active and secondary flight plans, you can also download takeoff performance data because of the takeoff performance data uplink. So you can download all of that from your SIMBRIEF um, uh, flight plan. And you can also get wind data as well through the ACAS function. So you get the wind for the whole of your route, which is absolutely incredible. Um, and I, as I say, I did this the other day. I'm going to produce a full video on using the ACAS function. On top of that, not only have you got that in the ACAS function, you can also use uh, CPDLC, is it? I'm just trying to find it now. And uh, yes, CPDLC. Unfortunately, um, I thought I thought you needed a Hoppy account. You do need a Hoppy account, but you don't need all of the software that is associated with Hoppy because it's all inbuilt within the A340 FMGS. It takes a, a little bit of getting your head around. Um, so CPDLC stands for Controller Pilot Data Link Connection, which means you can get your clearances and everything sent to you by data link. So in fact, there's no need for controllers to read your uh, clearances to you. They just send it via data link and you can read that and input that into the FMGS. Um, the first connection to the ATC station via CPDLC has to be generated manually and this is done via the notification page on the in the MCDU's ATC communications menu. Like I said, it's a little bit complex and it takes it takes some getting your head around and I will be doing a full video on that as well. So I'll be doing another two videos, one just on the ACARS feature and then one on CPDLC. Uh, unfortunately for CPDLC I'm going to have to make sure that I'm at an airport where there is um, ATC available so they can do that for me. I'll probably go to Heathrow or something so you can see that. Also you can use DCDU uh, which you know, will give you uh, information as well such as time on route and offsets etc etc. The, there is so much in this aircraft and I was looking through the manual and 
there's, there's like one manual is 87 pages and then there's another manual which is even bigger so the, the simulation manual which is the one that I've been reading of late that's 87 pages and that's just regarding you know things like the FMGS which is fully functioning it's uh, it's as close to real world as you can possibly get as you can see here I'm inputting my flight plan for um, Madrid and uh, we're going to be taking off quite soon uh, just just for a little bit of fun here you see the ISCS um, uh, whereby you can get a lot of your data flight data as well um, this is if you do it manually of course if you do it using a cars it's just all automatic and when you download the wind I think there's something like four pages of wind data within the FMGS for you to use and to input and it's just a simple the simple process of just clicking the button you don't have to input it type it in kind of thing you just keep clicking the button and it keeps dragging that data in from your Simbri flight plan very very good indeed so obviously whilst I've been talking you've had an opportunity to have a look at the aircraft externally internally here we're just uh, going through the um, EFB the electronic flight bag which also contains all your takeoff data and weights etc etc uh, which you can transfer into your FMGS as well so there's several different ways of getting the aircraft data into the FMGS um, so as I say the aircraft has been built with such attention to, t to detail but it, it's actually quite staggering it's quite breathtaking the amount of detail that is in this and so all I can say is that once again Tolis are showing themselves to be the premier developers within the X-Plane world. Here I am on the ground just uh, doing a bit of flight planning, uh, not flight planning, um, pushback with uh, using pushback, uh, better pushback, which seems to be working perfectly okay now in uh, x 12, there was a couple of glitches previously uh, where it wasn't working to the best of its ability. Sometimes it would spin the aircraft around like a lunatic. <laughs> Other times, it, for some reason, it just went completely and utterly mad. Anyway, so I think I was going down to runway 12, yes, so you can see that pushback here, I'm facing east, uh, sorry, facing west to go down to runway 12 for this departure. And uh, once again, absolutely looking brilliant. The um, You can get a sound pack, I believe, for this aircraft, but I'm going to be honest, why would you? Why would you spend money for a sound pack when the sound pack that comes with it, perfectly adequate, but in fact more than adequate. Uh, as you can see, the, the lines of the aircraft are just absolutely beautiful. Um, very, very easy to control on the ground. As you can see, I'm holding the center line quite well here. I have got my joystick set up as a, a tiller and uh, here we are taking off on runway 12 on our way to um, Madrid. Um, in, in the next video where I talk about A cars I'll probably, I'll probably do the whole flight, I'm not quite sure, I might even live stream it, who knows, but uh, yeah, what can I say about this aircraft? Quite expensive but you know where every kind of scent has been placed in the development of this aircraft is absolutely wonderful um, make no mistake about it it is one of the best I've ever seen uh, and I know I say that an awful lot but this this one is absolutely fantastic so there we are just launching out of Cardiff gear up now and uh, going down to Madrid I hope you found the video useful um, I'm just thinking, you know, what more can I tell you? Um, there's plenty of that coming in part two with the air cars. Uh, just some screenshots here. So once again, my name is Wycliffe Barrett, Explain Dedicated. As I say, hope you find this uh, video useful. There will be a part two, there will be a part three, and uh, we'll see you all soon. You take care now. Cheerio.